Censored. Ah, <laughs> dawn of the second day, 48 hours for me. Hey everyone, this is Captain Pal Paladin LP here. Welcome back to another episode of the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, well, we started the si sword upgrade side quest, and also we did a whole lot of other things in Goron Village. Also, we completed, um, or well, we got the powder keg and got to, to the racetrack, and we also completed the the, um, racetrack to get the gold dust. I kept you waiting, but it's done, see? Alright, so now we got the razor sword capability here. Uh, of course, if you swipe it 100 times without dull, you can use it up to 100 times without dulling its original edge. And so 100 times, it's going to go back to its original Kokiri sword, and you would have to restart the cycle again. But if you, you get no dust before the sword of its edge. So we got to... Uh, so we got to give him gold dust. And we got to leave it with this guy for almost another day. He goes back to sleep right away. Oh, a customer. Come on, I fetch a customer some coffee quick like. Now then, let me take a look at that sword. Hmm. Hey now, that's a mean joke. Your sword has already been reforged into a razor sword. Unless you want me to make your sword stronger. <laughs> to do that, I need gold dust. Do you have any? Well, yes we do. Why is it gold dust? It's even top quality. Why, even if I use the reforged your sword, there will be some, still some left. Alright, I'll do it for you to do it. I'll do this for free. Just don't tell anyone. Shh, it's a secret to everybody. Alright, so we gotta come back tomorrow. <laughs> And he goes back to work. Like a good monster. Huh, wait, what? But yes. We. Right now, he's going to keep our sword for another day. So we're going to be without a sword. <clears throat> All that's really got to. We got to do in this particular episode is. We, I was going to explore this cave a little bit because this was. um open after we had beaten goat so let's go ahead and head up these hills and yes if you had noticed this is post commentary um and there's white and black bows they're all racist the gangbangers are like oh, wait what i'm just going by what mara says so sue me it's like you, i can't have a freaking opinion around here so just don't judge me even with Mara, I can't have an opinion around her, and then... But no one Mara, she's one of those kind of people. Maybe you offer her opinion, you just shut up, Paladin! You know what I'm saying? Re and there's really nothing, there's this hole up here, virtually is, I think, some, tw some 20 rupees. If I'm not mistaken, but yeah, this is post-com, this is well after um, the playoffs, and I think I keep bring it up on various points of the LP here, but yeah, if you hadn't realized, Green Bay didn't make it. Sadness. And I'm gonna say, Seahawks fans, I question your character sometimes. So sometimes, I mean, I mean, I, I've been paying attention to Seahawks, and I'm gonna tell you, I've been watching them, and I think I question their character in a lot of things. Maybe it's just because it'll help you win, but I don't know. It's one thing about Seattle. I'm starting to question their character as an organization a little bit with some of the th players, and and don't get me started on Russell Wilson, even though he's from UW. Don't get me started on him. I, 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 he, I, I, I don't think he's ever going to be welcome back to Wisconsin. I'm sorry. And there's a Wolfos. Yay. Big deal. 
We all know that you're coming out of hibernation after being covered in snow. But we're going to go back here. Remember in the last episode, we actually performed this test. Now we have to tell them that we completed the test. This Goron over here that we they gave us the powder keg. Just one little small thing to do, because we really don't have a lot to do in this particular um, set of three days. And, of course, there's a place over here you can actually use, play the ocarina, and, um, bring up the sc Scarecrow. Let's talk to this guy. It looks like you managed to succeed. Knowing your skills, I feel fine that you handle your own power keg. It was bad of you to put, bad of you to put such a dangerous test in. Why did you even try, let us try? I am the ultimate Darmani. I don't give a... Uh, yeah. Danger is my middle name. Just unfortunate I died. Whatever. <laughs> don't mind me, folks. I am... Let's just say I'm still upset by it. I don't care what anyone says. But, of course, I'm, this is one of those episodes that Audacity decided to take a dump and not want to work. So this is Audacity's fault, not mine. I'm just saying. Alright, so we're going to head on back. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and advance time. There's only one other thing, we, major thing we do in this episode. And this is going to be a rather abbreviated episode, I'm sorry. I mean, knowing no how my, knowing how my friends think of me, I mean, seriously. There's, look at the bomber's notebook. There, we really can't do anything worth doing. Um, and since we're already in day two, and we already completed the Snowhead Temple, and it looks like we, yeah, we already got the mask from the postman or the heart piece from the postman. We already got that um, from the Gorman troop. So, in reality, there's nothing we can do that we could advance the story. But the next part, I think, I think the next part is actually somewhat required. In the fact that we do need a, that horse, since we already saw the horse, I think, way back in episode. I don't know. It was when we came. When we got those bunny ears. Because we're gonna have to go back on day one and two. Now that we got the powder keg, we are now able to. Remove that big boulder up from Milk Road. So we'll do that in the next episode for sure. So we're going to go ahead and play the Song of Double Time twice. Oh. Time's getting a little crazy for Darmani. Eh. <laughs> you just couldn't handle it. Oh, that's okay, man. Well, Darmani, I'm sure it's not equipped for time travel. I'm sure you have to go... You have to pass some sort of physical test for, you know, being Starfleet or whatever you want to call it. Whatever space organization in movies. Alright, so we're now at dawn of the final day. We're now able to go to the final day. Now back inside the mountain smithy. I kept you waiting, but it's done, see? Your razor sword is being strengthened now, it's a gilded sword. Newly forged, your sword is better than ever and will never break. Alright. There it is, we can't make a sword stronger than that. No matter how many times you use it, it will never lose its edge. Try it. Well, I used up most of the gold dust, just a tiny bit was left, so I got rid of it for, rid of it for you. Ah. Deny me the 200 rupees, and of course, and I guess I should have mentioned it, if you take the gold dust to the curiosity shop inside Clock Town, you'll get 200 rupees for it. So, it's not the efficient way of getting rupees, but it works if you want. But there, there are more efficient ways, and we won't worry about that. But look at the powerful edge it has, and also the reach. I mean, it is just, it's... Probably the one of the best swords other than the ma Master Sword from Ocarina of Time. 
So, we'll just go ahead and just grind a little, for, a little bit for rupees. And really, there's just nothing more we could do in this area. We have completed, I think, almost 100%. And I would say almost. There are still a few things we need to get. But we can't get them right, right off the bat. So, now we're going to go back to Clock Town. Man, I wish Audacity would stop being a boot. I swear. So, I'm, I'm actually recording off from my Camtasia using the voice narration feature just to do this um, recording. Man, it just sucks sometimes. <laughs> it just sucks. So, what we're going to do is we're going to leave Clock Town. There is a heart piece we're going to get, and then we're going to go ahead and just end the episode early. Wait just a moment. Do you know? If you don't know, then never mind. If you don't know... <laughs> he seems a little bit uneasy about, um... You're talking for the church of Wolf Falls Great. You better leave town quickly as you can. I pledge allegiance to the flag. No, actually, that that is kind of a thing. He's a soldier. He is, his heart is just racing after we watch... Ah! That thing. Oh, my God. Alright, so, well... What we're going to do is, we got a heart piece we got to find. There are four locations for this. To find this heart, look, um, heart piece. And then we're going to end the episode because we don't really have a... We're not going to do much. We already completed all that we can. All that we can. All that we can. All that we can. For this three-day cycle. The next three-day cycle will definitely resume the story a little bit. For sure. This is now I know why I'm annoying to my friends. This is reason number 333. I suppose. I don't know. So. This heart piece requires a non-human form. Uh, well, I can't even kill that guy. GG, man. Whatever. Alright, so there are four holes located in Terminal Field. I'm just going to go through each one, and then we're going to end the episode, because we don't have a lot. Um, this requires a human, a non-human form. You can do this as DQ, you can do this as Goron, and also you can do that as the final one. I'll put it on the screen, because I'm not going to spoil it verbally, because this game has already had a few spoilers in it. But for each of the forms, you get to play their primary song. For example, um, Goron Link, you get to play the Goron Lullaby. If it's the Deku Link, then a w Sonata of Awakening. And of course, the last form, assuming you don't know what it is, it's the Zora form, and you get to play that song, which I will not mention. But of course, I'll, I will only put it on the screen, so... There is another hole right near Milk Road. We're going to go and look at that one. It's right over... Now, well, this is the swamp area, so... Yeah, I end up walking and wandering about a little bit after looking for this, or looking for another one around here, but there... There's two in this section of the uh, area of Terminal Field, excuse me. Watch out for the spooter. There's a spooter right up there. Just gotta look up and shoot. Because that will tend to surprise a lot of people if you're not careful. And put, we're gonna use our Goron side here. And this is rather picky how close you actually use it. You have to be very, very clo close to it, or else it's not going to work. Yeah, see, case in point. <laughs> you have to be very close in it. I mean, th th it's very picky. With a, uh, with a drum accompaniment from the background with a spider that's hanging around the area. Jeez. 
Eh. Alright, so that's two of them. You notice two of them are turning red, and if you were DQ Link, you're, it'll be green. So, we're gonna go to the third location, and I'll be back in just a moment. Bird, 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 bird. That bird was just creeping up on us, jeez. And up, and down I go. <laughs> Yo, dude! My money. Thank you. Alright, the third one is over here on the back side of Terminal Field. You generally have to go through the north gate to just find this one, but there's a hole right near the um, ramp that leads down to um, the mountains. This is kind of a creepy place, though, because it's like almost like the a visual from like uh, underneath the graves and um, uh, what was it? What was it? Um, the royal crypt or the or something like that. The royal graveyard or something uh, from Kakariko Village <laughs> in Ocarina of Time. So go ahead and play, and you must do this consecutive times, you cannot just simply switch to another form, or we're all reset. So, and of course, this is being selfish again. Game. Blocked by Gossip Stone, yeah. Go figure. Alright, let's see here what we got. So that reacts to it. So you, um, you must do this consecutive times. So you cannot just switch forms. You got to do this in consecutive time, all in one form, or you know, not nothing at all. So and there is one last one, and I think we're gonna go ahead and end the episode after this. There's one over here on the where the rock is at. You can see right there in the distance. That's where it's at. Go ahead and get rid of that. But yeah, this will actually end the, end the three day cycle, guys. We have done a lot. We got the Gilded Sword. We also picked up a Heart Piece. I think that's quite a bit done. You just used our money to punch it open. There you go. Yeah, but this will be it for this three day cycle, ladies and gentlemen. All I'm going to do, do now is go ahead and deposit my rupees. And I'm going to reset time. And in the next three day cycle, we're going to go ahead and. Go to Milk Road, and we gotta talk to um, Kremia, also Romani, and we're gonna start that side quest from day one. So, ought to be interesting what happens to Romani since we last talked to her. She was a bit distraught, and Kremia was uh, kind of wondering if she had listened to her si little sister. Things that might have been okay at their farm. So. We will see. And so in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we'll go to Milk Road and Romani Ranch. And we'll take on whatever side quests we need to get there. So until then, this has been Captain Pound LP. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone.